Hi, welcome back to my channel. So this week I'm going to be doing my, I'm going back vegan basically. We had like a bit of a break, but um, we don't like it and we feel like we're getting fat again and we don't feel healthy. So I'm going to Aldi now to do a shop. I'm just going to get loads of veg and loads of fruit. Um, and I'm going to be vlogging my tea every night, what I make for tea. Um, it's going to be all plant based. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a weekly vlog of what I'm eating every night basically. So I'm going to Aldi now, so I'll start filming when I get there. For our vulnerable customers, we're opening. So I've just got back from work. It's like 11 o'clock, um, and I can't really bother cooking. So Jamari's gonna cook tea, but we're just having these. I've got them from Aldi. What are they called? Zanzibar inspired veggie barbs, courgette, chickpea, and roasted red pepper kebabs. So we're gonna have that and I'm just gonna make some mushroom rice. Are you your banana? So I'm just frying the mushrooms in garlic and chili oil. The brown rice is cooking and the kebabs are frying on there. I'm going to put the spinach in last with the rice and I mix the rice with the mushrooms. So it's like a fine how spinach shrimp. By the way, it's brown basmati rice. In here. So I'm just about to go to work, but when I get back, I finish at eight. I'm gonna make a vegan shepherd's pie with like roast potatoes and stuff like that. So when I get back, I'll show you how I make that. So I've just got back from work. This is great angle. I want like a golden hour, but it's not gonna work. <laughs> so I just got back from work, it's about nearly nine o'clock. I'm just gonna put the potatoes on and stuff like that. By the way, this vegan shepherd's pie is, I'm using BBC Good Food for the recipe. I'm just gonna put the potatoes on to boil now, and then I'm just gonna have a shower and stuff while they cook, and then I'll, I'm gonna show you all I know, but I'm just letting you know what I'm making, so yeah. So I've just chopped up uh, the potatoes, I'm leaving the skin on because that's what it says on the recipe, I usually do anyway. And then I've just got the pan here and I'm just going to put them all into the pan and let them boil for about 40 minutes. It's going to take me a while to make this but it's fine because I've got shizu. 
sweet chickpeas, I ignore the eggs, they're just obviously on top of the egg, cauliflower, frozen spinach, mushrooms, beans, carrots, so I'm just going to chop them up, I've just oiled that pan, so it's all going to go in there, and the potatoes are nearly boiled now. Like the leaves off it. This leaks massive. Because there's no meat, I'm cutting the mushrooms quite big so that it's like meat, but it's not. Just so there's something to actually bite. And because my sister doesn't like mushrooms and she's having some, so, so she can find them and pick them out. Uh, doggy bags, I'm going to put in here for now. So these are the potatoes I'm going to mash. Uh, I've just put the frozen broccoli, cauliflower, beans and carrots in there. That's just the veg like brewing in there. Um, these are the potatoes I'm going to make into a roast. That's not mine, I prefer I'm a vegetarian. My dad's making chicken. Um, yeah, I'm going to make these into a roast. I'll show you when I put it all together. So I've mixed the mash with all the veg in there. These are going to be the roast potatoes. I'm going to spray them with this garlic oil. I'm going to season them with salt and parsley. So I thought the oven was on and roasting my sweet potato but it wasn't so I was just quickly boiling it so I can't wait any longer. I'm just going to mash that over there. I was supposed to mix it in but yeah. And these are going to go on top of there and then in the oven. So we're just winging it. I'm not going to mash it on top. We're just putting them on top and then we're going to try to push them into the mash. Spread them out evenly. Is it like the white stuff? That's good. 
One side. Ooh, baby. Right, Ooh, baby. Now we're just ready. We'll push down the in. We'll, we'll push the sweet potato into the filling, and we'll just put in the mash over now. And we're gonna put the roast over, and I'll show you when I've done that. probably going to make this on like a day where I'm not working next time because it's nearly 11 o'clock. If this fits perfectly, that's going to be so satisfying. Oh my god, that's weird. So I've just peeled off the skins off of the potatoes just so the potato bit goes a bit crispy and then just put the skin in there for flavour. And then I'm just going to flip round these now just so the potato bit cooks and goes crispy. So I've just taken it out. The roast haven't gone like as roasty as I want them to be but I can't wait any long because I'm starving. So I'm just going to dish it up now. I think they're fine. Oh my god. Mm. Mm. What do you rate? What do you rate? Out of, out of 10. Out of 10. Nine. Joking 10. <laughs> so the light is really bad, sorry. Um, but I'm not making tea tonight. Um, I'm getting a curry, a vegetable curry, so. Yeah, I will be back tomorrow with my next meal. I don't know what I'm making yet, but obviously I'll let you know tomorrow. So I don't know if you can see me very well. <laughs> you can't, let me go in light. <sighs> just in bed now. We ain't really, I'm not really hungry tonight, me and Jamaya, so we've just got hummus and pita. I'll just show you it now. So what we're having is a little snack. So tonight I'm making a vegan chilli so obviously it's chilli without meat the recipe i'm using sweet potatoes mushrooms i'm making a red pepper sauce instead of like tomato puree because jemima's allergic to tomatoes ignore know that's just still a door um yeah but i'll just teach i'll just show how i make it as i go along it's probably going to be my it's probably going to be my last meal and i've only done two so this will be the third one uh, so yeah, I'm going to get cooking now. So this is everything I'll be using to make the chilli and obviously I'm going to serve it with rice. So I've got roasted peppers in a jar. Obviously that's my substitute for tin tomatoes. Red onion, spring onion, sweet potatoes, mushrooms, kidney beans, avocado. It's going to go on top of the chilli. I'm going to do like avocado wedges. Um, Yellow and green peppers, I don't know what to call them, leeks. I've got a neutral one, so I'm going to blend them up to make a bit of a paste. Um, um, crushed chilies, garlic, oregano, cajun, and garlic and herb seasoning. So, yeah. So, I'm just going to start off by peeling these potatoes, chopping them up into smaller pieces, obviously. <laughs> and then I'm going to roast them on a roasting tray. That was really dirty, but I've just cleaned it. It's actually stained. So yeah, I'm going to cut these up and peel them now and then I'm going to season them, but I'll show you that. And now I'm going to chop them. So they're all chopped up, I'm just going to spray them with garlic oil all over. And then I'm going to drizzle some of this on. And then I'm going to put this on. And 
and some garlic. Yeah. Yeah. And some crushed chilies. Yeah. I'm gonna add some salt and pepper, shuffle them around and make sure they're cool, and then I'm gonna put them in the oven. I've chopped up onions, spring onions and leek and I'm just going to put these in here and fry them over. You don't have meat, mushrooms gives a bit more of a meatier taste, but yeah. Here's some water, up together in the tube, which will like to make a sort of tomato puree sort of thing, but obviously it's with peppers. So the tomato is pasteurised a lunch term, so I'll just do that now. It helps off the I realised I had oil in the can, uh, so I'm just going gonna, gonna to blend it and see how it goes and then if I need to add water then I will. It smells so nice, uh, it's a bit thick, I'm just going to add a bit of water just because the recipe does say add water anyway and then I'm going to add a stock cube and then let this boil over once the veg is like, fried properly. Healthy it's wholemeal and boil it in here. So this is nearly ready now and I'm about to put that in. Just let that simmer now, I'm going to put a stock cube in. While this is simmering, I'm just going to add a vegetable stock cube. for a while now so I'm just going to add in the kidney beans also let the sauce drip in a bit I've just turned the oven off, these are a bit overcooked but it's fine. <laughs> I'm going to put these in the chilli in 5 minutes. I'm just going to put these in now. They look disgusting but... <laughs> so I'm just leaving that to simmer now. Everything's in there, the sweet potato, all the veg, everything. Just wait for the rice to cook and then I'll show you. I'm dishing it up and I'm going to make, once I've dished it up, I'm going to make my avocado wedges. With this, I've never tried it before, but I'm going to try it today. Right, I'm going to try my best to make guacamole wedges. I've just sliced it in half. I'm going to put it in the oven now. Just wait for the rice to cook. Right, guys, I've just sliced it in half. I was doing it and then it like, just stopped working. Oh wait, I've done it. I've actually done it. <laughs> I'm going to show you what I'm making you because a picture on BBC Good Food. The picture on BBC Good Foods, it has like wedges on top of the chilli. I think this fits to denut this thing. Right. Wow, these are cool. We'll do the next one. Go as well. It's nice. It smells nice. Yeah. 
Toby wants some Toby. So you want me to So the Toby. first one went well and the second one didn't, but it's fine. It still tastes the same, doesn't it? I've pulled it off, so that's the chilli. That's the rice. These are the <laughs> my attempt at guacamole wedges. I'm gonna dish it up and then show you. So this is the finished result. I'm really proud. It actually looks like a picture on BBC Good Foods. Like that looks like a picture. So yeah, I'm gonna show you the picture now. I'm gonna insert it. But yeah, I'm gonna do a taste test. So I have actually just tried it, but it's so nice. It literally tastes. I think it's better than the BBC Good Food one. I that one taste. Now, what do you think? That's like the best vegan meal you can make, isn't it? 10 out of 10.